When I was six years old, all I wanted to be was a wizard. But when I mentioned that to my kindergarten teacher, Mr. Fred... <laughs> Well, 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 news flash, Mr. Fred. I'm actually a student at Hogwarts at the moment. In a video game, but it, it's still pretty cool. One Hogwarts Legacy day is 25 minutes in real life, and I'm going to be spending the next 100 Hogwarts days in this magical world. Yeah. Where I'll be experiencing the life of a Hogwarts student in a world full of magic and British accents. Go find a fucking job, you fucking sausage roll looking twat! This is going to be really fun. Let's do it! Day one, I was heading to Hogwarts on this flying carriage, which was so fun, silly. And who is your travelling companion? Who am I? Well, I'm Harry Nuts. Not too sure why this game allowed this name, but uh, I'm not complaining. Uh, anyways, on my way to school, a dragon flew into the carriage, killing a guy, and then stranded me and this old guy in the middle of nowhere. I'm pretty sure I just experienced the wizarding equivalent of a car crash, <laughs> that was really scary. But I arrived at Hogwarts just in time for the sorting ceremony, and I got sorted into Slytherin! Hey, what's with the sad music? It's not, it's not that bad. Once Harry Nuts woke up the next morning, it was day two, and I was ready for my first proper day of wizarding. I, I, is that a word? And after giving myself some self-confidence, my hair literally looks like rotten cabbage. This is terrible. I tried to make some friends, but instead I just put one into shock. Like, I, I think I just broke that person. I'm so sorry. I ended up making a friend though. His name was Sebastian. Hey friends, my name's Deez Nuts. Can I, can you guys look at my nuts? <laughs> let's freaking go, let's go to class. I was then told to head to my first class named Charms. Let's learn about. Let's learn about stuff, guys. Where a student asked me to sit next to them? Like, I, I guess people were really digging my hairy balls. <laughs> but this class was fucking lit. I got to learn my first magic spell called Asio. Asio. Akio. Oh, Akio. <laughs> And my teacher wanted to put my ASIO spell to the test with a little excursion. He then proceeded to spawn a giant wooden board game out of thin air and started moaning a little bit too much. I played this mini game, which I absolutely sucked at. She's not gonna be good at this at all. What the fuck? But after class, this lady and I ended up being friends and her name was Yadi. Before my next class, I had to go to the toilet because I had a little bit of a nervous poo. I meant to put my butt in that thing? That was the most painful shit I've ever done, but it's okay because it was the next class and it was dueling, baby. And this teacher's posture looks physically painful. I really hope she's okay with that. She then made me and Sebastian, the, the guy I met earlier, duel with our new magic, which I gotta say was pretty brutal. Yeah. <laughs> I won, obviously. Like, I guess I just have the hair on your nuts, dude. Ugh. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I've got to stop making those jokes. But on day three, my new friend Natty invited me to a walk over to Hogsmeade, which is the main town where you buy cosmetics and supplies. And I was like, yes. Yeah. Onward, Natty! <laughs> so we had a very pleasant walk, and this game looks fantastic. Like the graphics and the nature look super clean. I was impressed, and I was even more impressed once we went to Hogsmeade. Like, oh my, so many crickets, this is so cozy! I had to do some errands while I was in this town, like getting a potion recipe, eating candy. <laughs> exploding a shop. Big button, what does this do? And of course, getting my own wand, which made me literally glow, like that was freaking epic. And once I got all my errands done, I returned to Natty, but then... <laughs> but then, a vicious troll stormed into the town, terrorizing all the citizens, and the adults of Hogsmeade decided to be pussies and just ran away, leaving two underage Hogwarts students to defeat this massive ogre thing. But with my new wand, we demolished that troll. Get back to the Shrek cinematic universe, you Shrek character looking ass bitch. Let's do this, Natty, let's do it! That is so sick, holy crap. And after defeating that troll, I guess we were the new town heroes, and this police officer with a very nice hat gave me a drippy outfit. That's gonna get me all of the ladies. And as we were walking over to a nearby bar in Hogsmeade, we stumbled upon these two evil guys, Randrock and Victor Rookwood. Me and Natty overheard what they were talking about, and they were discussing a plan to kidnap me. Yeah, yeah, the hairy nuts guy. Why would they do that, you may be asking? Well, back when I was heading to Hogwarts and the 
can crash into us. Me and this old man called Mr. Fig landed in the middle of nowhere and we did a little bit of exploring around like this ancient ruin and somehow discovered an ancient artifact that contains ancient magic and memories from years ago. I said ancient a lot in that sentence, but also turns out that I, the, the hairy nuts guy, has some extremely rare and important magic where I pretty much have the ability to trace ancient magic. That's pretty badass if I can say so myself. And as me and Mr. Fig were exiting the ruin, we ran into Randrock, the, the midget guy. And he was there to take the ancient artifact and take my magic and use it for evil. And me and Mr. Fig were like, nah bro, that's freaking weird. And then Randrock proceeded to literally murder someone right in front of our eyes. So Mr. Fig and I had to escape and we teleported away. <laughs> So Ranrock is basically trying to hunt us down for the magic right now and teaming up with this tall guy Victor Rookwood for some reason I'm sorry. That's quite a lot of information there, but pretty much those two villains. That's gonna be quite a big issue soon a Anyways to celebrate our massive victory of defeating that troll earlier We went to the bar and got some beer. We're literally teenagers So I don't know how I'm allowed this right now. We got our drinks from a bartender named Serona It was pretty it was pretty wholesome stuff the next morning I woke up back at Hogwarts and was ready for another day of education and trying to make some friends and they just keep on breaking in front of me I don't, I don't, I don't know why this keeps on happening to me day seven I joined this weird dueling club thing where you can like fight other students I played a few rounds of it and I can assure you it is actually pretty epic. Yo! Rawr, rawr, picky the wizard. Rawr. Oh, oh, he's controlling the game. Oh, buddy. <laughs> he's making him jump. <laughs> and day eight, I went over to Mr. Fig's office to tell him everything about what happened for the past few days. Mr. Fig. <laughs> Mr. Fig. <laughs> And he was baffled by this information. Just, just look at his face right there. It was insane. He then explained to me that there was a restricted book in the Hogwarts library that can tell us more about the ancient magic that my nuts have. <laughs> Mr. Fig was way too busy doing schoolwork and stuff, so I had to sneak in the library by myself with a little bit of help from my friend Sebastian. Like, he's the homie, he's the homie. So, at night time, we both snuck in, and we did not get caught a single time. We're sneaking in, baby. What the f- We took a gander at the library. It looked f fucking awesome. We then snuck into a gated section of the library where no students can go. And after wandering around this place for so long, we found the book. <laughs> let's go. We found the book, guys. Let's go. The book can pee. What the heck? When I went back to Mr. Fig's office and returned the book to him, he noticed there was missing pages in the book, which is just great. We have to do even more fetch Christ. Are you freaking kidding me right now? And Mr. Fig told me that it was going to be away for a few days for some work business. But like, what the heck? Mr. Fig, there's literally two villains right now trying to hunt me down and you're just leaving me, dude? <laughs> it's okay. On day 9, I went outside at night time for the first time and oh my god, it looked pretty. On day 10, I went to a new class called Herbolatory. I think that's how you say it. Please welcome the newest rose in our garden. You fucking sausage roll looking twat! And immediately gave the entire class from permanent hearing loss. I also did potion class, which just felt like a cooking simulator, but it was alright. And on day 11, I finally was able to free roam outside of Hogwarts. It looks so pretty, holy crap. <laughs> so the first thing I did was just get all of my uniform wet and just swam in the water. I'm so quirky. I explored a little bit more and stumbled upon this dark cave and got completely jump scared by a random ghost. <laughs> this guy was a Hogwarts student that sadly passed away a few centuries ago by trying to impress a girl by sneaking into a forbidden cave and then just died in there. And, and people call me a simp. What the fuck? This ghost guy apparently had the missing pages that I was looking for with him whenever he died. So I agreed to meet up with him in the forbidden forest late at night. I was definitely gonna get mugged in this place. I eventually found the guy in the forest. His name was the dead guy, the sorcerer of Simpy. I was then taken into this huge cave, which is extremely beautiful, but this cave wasn't all beautiful because it contained one of my biggest fears, taxes. Oh my, <clears throat> uh, I mean, spiders. These slippery little suckers were everywhere and I was physically cringing the entire time. I don't like you guys. Oh my gosh, you made an entrance. They're so scary. I don't like them at all. Oh my and the more I progressed in this cave, the more ridiculous these spiders got. Like. What the fuck is this thing? Oh, that's nasty. Oh, that's nasty. And 
then the missing pages were there and I collected them, which is absolutely amazing. And as I was exiting the cave, I stumbled upon this massive empty room and it slowly revealed four moving paintings. And one of the paintings moved and revealed that it was an old guy. And he started talking to me, dude. Like, what the fuck? He explained that he was an old teacher at Hogwarts like centuries ago and that he had the same ancient powers as I do. Like, Harry Nuns, I have like ancient magic just in case you forgot. And this random old man could help us in stopping Ranrock and Victor Rookwood, which is freaking sick. He then asked me to place the book that I found on a pedestal to activate this room, but because I only had a few pages and Mr. Fig went on vacation with the book in his possession, I had to leave this painting guy and wait for Mr. Fig to come back so we can continue this journey. How dare Mr. Fig enjoy his life and leave for a few days, fucking loser. And on day 16, it was time for my favorite class yet. <laughs> My mic is muted. Flying class, dude. Let's go. Fly, 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 fly. fly. We're gonna fly. We're gonna... Holy shit. Let's go, bro. This is so cool. I already thought this game was fantastic, but having the broom mechanic as well just made me shit my pants all over the walls. Like, oh my god, this is freaking insane. And after riding my broom for a little bit, this random student just stopped me. His name was... Everett. And he wanted to sneak out of class with me and just fly for a little bit longer. So we took a little bit of a detour and rode around in pretty cool areas, I guess. I'm just following this guy. This is this is not good. We're, we're sneaking out of school. Don't don't skip school, kids. This is probably the most lamest thing to do while skipping school. Like it was just a tutorial for the brooms. That's just that's all it was. But luckily we didn't get caught. And where have you two been? On day 20, something freaking insane happened. Miss Weasley wanted to show me something. So I went over to her, and she took me into this massive room full of furniture, and it was definitely giving me some backrooms vibes, for real, for real. I explored for a little bit until I ran into this disgusting little man. Ugh, get out of my face! <laughs> this guy's name was Deke. Wait, you know what? I'm not even gonna do a cool intro for this guy. This guy is so fucking ugly. <laughs> Miss Weasley and Deke told me to close my eyes for a surprise, so I also did it in real life because because I was just really immersed in the game, okay? Don't judge me. And then a huge room just formed right in front of my eyes. And it turns out that this room is called the Room of Requirement, where I can fully customize it myself and have like potion crafting accessible to me in one room. I can, I can, there's so much room for activities. There's so much room. Day 21, I met up with my boy Sebastian. Over here. My man really stood like, and on day 23, my homie, Mr. Fig, was back from vacation. I, I really hope that guy had a good time, man. I then introduced him to the huge room with, like, the talking painting guy. And Mr. Fig put the book on the pedestal, like what the painting man was saying. And then everything just went crazy. The whole room started to glow. The floor of the room then turned into, like, a map of Hogwarts, which was so poggers, dude. Yo, Mr. Fig in space. Yo, Mr. Fig. Yo, let's go, dude. The painting guy then explained to me that... To harness your ancient magic to defeat Ranrock and Dr. Lookwood or whatever the fuck his name is. You must go forth on an adventure to complete some trials and collect some ancient artifacts to power your ancient, your ancient, ancient magic. The first trial was at this random tower in the middle of the forest, so on day 24, I set out on a little bit of an adventure, baby, and stumbled upon quite a few strange things. What the hell is that? That literally looks like a shit that I did in the toilet this morning. What the hell is that? And by day 26, I finally made it to the tower where I had to get some artifact from this tower place. Professor Fig! Mr. Fig! What's going on, dude? And turns out that Ranrock and the Lookwood guy have servants now, and they were setting camp at this first trial. I was then faced with a huge boss, which was extremely hard for me because it was 2 a.m. and I was really tired. Like, what was I trying to express in this clip here? How are we gonna defeat this guy? I like a penis. But it's okay, I beat the boss, L plus ratio, get out of the lobby, and on day 31, it was officially autumn time. It is so pretty, Woo! And as Harry Nots is waking up in the morning, I was heading to bed. Sleep on us. Good morning, you lot. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> 
that guy's just phasing through into me. I don't know if that's like a new magic trick, but like... It was autumn time at Hogwarts now, and holy crap, it looked pretty. And to buy myself something nice, I went to Hogsmeade to get a broom. Damn, these are expensive. And there were way too much money, bro. What the fuck? Day 33, I did potion class. I it's still boring. Day 34, I tried the ball mini game again. <laughs> I still suck at it. And by day 37, I got myself a very own broom. But for some reason, I was calling it a wand in this recording. I got a wand! Let's go! We got a wand, baby! Let's go! All I wanted was a broom, so I'm just so happy I got one, dude. <laughs> and as I was riding my broom at night, I just looked at this game and thought it was just so beautiful. This was the dream game for so many kids growing up with Harry Potter, and I was just so happy that it turned out banging, bro. Like, these graphics are... <laughs> oh, Germany Crickets. <laughs> And I was so immersed in the game that I completely forgot that I was in a call with one of my friends. Go dream, you know. Holy fuck. Hey, hey, what's up, man? I can't hear you. Hold up. Right. But on day 39 is where things started to ramp up again. I had a dinner date with this random midget guy called Lodgok. More like a lot cock, am I right? <laughs> and turns out that this guy is Ranrock's brother. Y yeah, the evil guy. But he's like the completely happy and nice version of him. Like, it's so weird. He then told me everything that he knew about Ranrock's plans. He said that not only is he trying to steal my ancient magic and use it for evil, but he's also trying to get this sort of huge magical power source under Hogwarts. And if Ranrock uses this red power thing, he can completely destroy the wizarding world as we know it. I'm not too sure why a little two-foot man wants all this power, but hey. I'm not judging. I, I mean, I am judging. This guy's a fucking weirdo. So, Lodcock and I decided to be friends and team up against Ranrock and Victor, and we planned to sneak into Ranrock's hideout very soon. But in the meantime, in day 40... Okay, this is your cabin speaking. We're going to the beach classroom in Hogwarts. <laughs> I did beast class, which made my computer literally shit itself. I love 10 FPS education. <laughs> there, I met this nice lady named Poppy. The sorcerer of animals. I I'm not even kidding. She loves animals to death and she taught me to like pat this little fuzzy ball thing. I I'm not too sure what this is, but it was it was really cute. I just want to cuddle you up and put you in my basement. But then Poppy and I caught this stupid student pretty much abusing this cat animal thing, which Poppy did not like, and we had some school drama. Her name is Persephone. <laughs> Her name is Persephone. <laughs> That's really not funny. Poppy then thanked me for standing up for her. It's okay, Poppy. And asked for me to follow her to a nearby mountain. This was super sketchy, but I just followed her anyway, I guess. And there, Poppy showed me something that was probably the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my entire life. It was a freaking flying bird, and it was so majestic. And after bowing my head to the bird, me and this guy were literal homies. He, we're so chill. And before we knew it, the bird just flew away into the sunset. On day 43, I did some decorating around my room of requirement. I gave it a bit of a glow up, I guess. It was pretty drippy. On day 44, Deke wanted me to go hunting for some beasts with him. It was probably the first time that little midget went outside in months, but I, I can't really say anything. I then grabbed a huge interdimensional portal bag and literally started kidnapping innocent animals. This was so cool, but also kind of messed up when you think about it. I then caught some birdies, and I felt like I was playing Pokemon for a second there. And then I was enjoying hunting animals animals a little bit too much. He's walking around the forest, but little does he know, I'm a kidnapper ready to pounce. Yeah! <laughs> Come here, bitch! And then Deke upgraded my room of requirement and added a new doorway that leads to a huge grassland. Whoa! Where I can put all of my new animals that I found. Let's release the children! I mean, the, the beasts. <laughs> Releasing these animals gave me so much joy, even though I was technically kidnapping them. It, it, it was awesome. Oh my gosh, I got a whole, like, zoo going on here! Except for this guy. This guy's fucking ugly. Dude, oh my gosh! Day 48, I had a new class. Astronomy class! I really enjoyed this class. Space is the jam. And I wish astronomy was this easy in real life. Holy crap. Astronomy is awesome. All I do is just scroll a mouse. Day 49, I had to make some business decisions. Okay, I just sold basically all of my clothes. I'm gonna be buying so much shit. I'm gonna upgrade my broom. I'm gonna do everything. It's gonna be so exciting, guys. So make sure to subscribe to the channel. 
then it was day 50. Halfway through the challenge, baby. And to celebrate, I got some new clothes. This guy just looks so goofy. He looks like he literally has shit in his pants. Like, he's like, oh gosh, I'm holding it in. Oh my gosh. And on day 55, Natty, remember her? We haven't spoken for like 40 days. She wanted to sneak into one of Victor Lookwood's servant bases and see what the fuck is cracker lacking up in that shit. So Natty and I had to sneak. I'm such a fucking noob, oh my gosh. Turns out that they were imprisoning the pretty bird that I discovered earlier, and they were abusing it too! No! What are we gonna do? Stop abusing, stop hitting him! So, I snuck through the base past all the stinky servants, and finally found the bird locked up in a chain. Oh my god, what did he do to you, buddy? And Natty and I escaped from the base just in time, because the servants were like shooting at us and stuff, well, casting spells on us, I, I don't know, wizarding language, but... Okay, Harry Nuss just sounds so fucking stupid whenever he is excited, but- Oh my god! Wait, what if I- Oh gosh! Oh gosh! This is awesome! Oh my god! Oh gosh! I broke him! I broke him! Riding this bird was fantastic! I felt more free than a sample at Walmart! That is a terrible joke! What the- why did I- why did I even say- Oh my gosh, it's turning day as well! Oh my god! And then we landed our birds to safety and the dream duo was back. I literally haven't seen Natty in so long. And then she just randomly left me after this amazing experience. Like, I'm probably not going to see her for another like 40 days. <laughs> and on day 57, I went back to Mr. Fig and the painting lads. We're back in the map chamber. Dude, Mr. Fig's over there, dude. Dude, I love Mr. Fig. He's literally like my grandpa from another mother. Like, bro. And these guys told me that I had to do another trial at this random castle. So... Day 59, I arrived there. Ooh, that, that was a cool transition there, editing Cody. Holy crap. We had to fight some two feet midget again, but this time they were extremely awkward. <laughs> So cool. Mr. Fig and I were about to go inside the castle until we stumbled upon Ranrock and Victor Lookwood themselves fighting about me. Oh, guys, stop it. We can work something out. No, seriously, this was freaking scary. They were fighting about not being able to catch me ages ago, which is really creepy. Bring me the child. We returned back to Hogwarts on day 60 for it to be winter season now. And it looked extremely pretty. Just, just look at this B-roll shot. It's, it's very pretty. I'm very, I'm very proud of this one. Day 62, I had breast class, beast, beast class again. Day 67, I got some new glasses. <laughs> he is so cute! <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. On day 70, I unlocked a new area in the room of requirement, which strangely resembled the Windows default screen. Is that just me? And on day 71 is where the serious saw started. I met up with my homie Lardkark, aka Rainrock's brother, aka the guy I'm teaming up with to stop these bad guys. We met up at Rainrock's mine site, and he told me to sneak in and find some clues. I also brought this random ass Hogwarts guy. His name was Amit or something. I, why is he even fucking here? Why is he here right now, dude? So we snuck in the cave, and we had to be very sneaky Otherwise, our nuts were gonna be busted. NPC looking ass. Come over here. Come over here. We didn't find much, except for finding one of the most important things in the entire story, dude. From this diagram, it turns out that Ranrock and his servants are building huge drills to get under Hogwarts and get the blue ancient power thing that I said earlier. And this is probably the goofiest storyline I've ever heard. Like, this is literally something out of Fortnite. <laughs> Anyways, I told Logcock about everything and he was flabbergasted. And on day 76, the serious sauce just kept on squirting, dude. Because I was back with Mr. Fig and the painting guys and my hairy nuts was ready for another trial. But this time, it was actually extremely funny. This artifact was located in Professor Black's office, which is the head professor of the entire Hogwarts school, so it was basically impossible to sneak in there and get the artifact, unless I turn into that hairy ass. <laughs> no way. Am I about to turn into a middle-aged man? I just turned into a middle-aged man. <laughs> How do you feel? <laughs> I'm the professor. You guys are fired from Hogwarts, guys. You guys are a happy couple? You guys should break up. No dating in Hogwarts. I then had to ask Scrope, which is like Professor Black's dwarf assistant, for the password for the office. And after some very <laughs> funny conversations, I finally got the passcode. And I had to run out of that courtroom like I had shit in my pants because the spell was about to run out. There's no way I just did it to the professor. That's awesome. 
Toujours pure. Oh, well, this is a nice place. But I grabbed the magical book. Woo, so fancy. Yo. On day 76, I wandered around Hogsmeade and flew on my fat ass bird. This game is so pretty everywhere you go. Like, look at this cow thing. Well, I actually don't know what this animal is. Can someone please tell me what this is? Editing Cody here. I have no idea what that animal is. I think it's a cow or something. Day 82 was insane. I wandered into Ranrock's cave base once again and had a little bit more of a little sneaky peek, if I know what I'm saying. <laughs> and that was the talk of the town of this place, dude. Probably because of my hairy nuts. Let's be honest here, people. I then stumbled upon Ranrock giving a speech to all of his goblins, saying, Arr, another drill has been made. I'm two foot tall and I haven't subscribed to the channel, which is something I should definitely do, and you guys, you should too as well, guys. And when I heard that he hasn't subscribed to the channel, I said fuck it, and I completely destroyed the platforms that were holding up the cave. I was just going ham on this cave, dude. Oh my god, I was a savage. And amongst all the rubble was Ranrock himself, and holy shit, he is so short. <laughs> he had me cornered, and Victor Lookwood also captured my homie Lodcock, and Lodcock was pleading to be freed, and he was only trying to stop the evil, but Ranrock had none of that and just started roasting the shit out of him. And just like that, our beloved soldier was gone. R.I.P. Lodcock, man. <laughs> My hairy nuts had to escape that cave before he killed me next, and I was in tears, man. Not really, I only spoke to that guy like a few times, but he seemed like a cool guy. He, d he just wanted Hogwarts to be a cool place. Those villains are brutal. Like, I almost, I almost died there too. Jesus. And on day 86, I told Mr. Fig the sad news, and he was like... Who the fuck is Lodcock? I went back to the painting people and they explained to me that it was time for Mr. Fig and I to go underneath Hogwarts to stop Rainrock once and for all. <laughs> So the floor of the huge room just like melted, I guess, and it revealed a staircase and a door, and Mr. Fig and I were ready to ready to save the world. Mr. Fig! Mr. Fig, dude, why are you actually looking at my ass? <laughs> Oh, you got caught looking there, dude. You're so sus, dude. You're gonna look in there again, aren't you? You're gonna look in there again. And as we wandered down, it was too late. Ranrock's servants had already drilled into Hogwarts, trying to find the power source before we did. But it was okay. Mr. Fig and I have been destroying these suckers for 90 days or so now. So we were ready to be the dream team. Let's do this, Mr. Fig. Let's do this. There's enemies up ahead, Fig. Let's get him. Yeah. Mr. Fig. No, Mr. It's Fig. <laughs> Whoa, Mr. Fig, yo! Good stuff. And as we were getting closer to the power source, we were surrounded by servants. And Mr. Fig and I were fucked until we had some company. The professors! Yo, the professors have broken up. I only had one class with that guy. I don't know where. Professor Black, I was you for a second, dude. Miss Weasley. Yes, Miss. Yeah, let's go. It's the only thing that just too little love. Miss Weasley, thank you for saving my life. They're defeating them. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, we're getting chased by goblins. And just in the nick of time, Mr. Fig and I beat Randrock to the power source and we were ready to save the world for good. Oh, oh god, it's Ranrock! Oh, what do we do? And as we thought we won, we just completely shat ourselves. No. <laughs> Ranrock's such a dick, but he's so badass. What is he doing? He's literally turning into... What is he doing? Ranrock then turned into a dragon using all of the power source for evil. I could have easily kicked him over and called it a day for the boss fight, but now he's a fire-breathing dragon. Oh, too many crickets. Oh no, what are we gonna do? Mr. Fig and I were then separated from each other, and all of this journey has come to this. From day one, where I just arrived at Hogwarts and didn't understand anything, to now, on day 99, with the entire Wizarding Universe's fate responsible in my hands. Well, in this case, my nuts. Defeat Ranrock. We're defeating this guy. 
You might be a dragon right now, but you're still two foot tall in there somewhere. The wizarding world is gonna be defeated! Wait, no. The, the wizarding world's gonna be saved! Yeah! Get out of here! You've killed so many of my friends! Put us in danger! Now it's time for you to die! Ja, ja, ja. Mr. Fred told me that I was never gonna be a wizard, and now I'm defeating a epic dragon. <laughs> I'm gonna defeat you! Holy f Oh gosh, my headphones, my headphones, oh gosh. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Wait a sec, my, my headphones are- wait, 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 my headphones, wait, give me a second here. Whoa. We did it! We did it! <laughs> <sighs> Mr. Fig! No way he's gonna die. No way he's gonna die. Uh, the wizarding world could not be in more capable hands. Mr. Fig! <laughs> Oh my god! No, <laughs> Mr. Fuck, <laughs> Mr. Fig, dude. Duh. Duh. He was my hero. He was my daddy. And wait, that's really fucked up. <laughs> but most of all, he believed in me. This virtual professor believed in me more than my real kindergarten teacher that told me I could never be a wizard. Well, look at me now, Mr. Fred. Alright, look at look at me now. To Professor Fig! To Professor Fig! And then it was the last day of the challenge. I spent 100 days in Hogwarts Legacy. This game was fantastic and it was amazing to experience the world of Harry Potter in this game. Comment Harry if you're hearing this right now so I know you've made it to the end of the video. And one last thing before you go. Next time you watch a Harry Potter movie, just know there's a wizard out there better than him.